This video will walk you through submitting an assignment in Schoology. Go ahead and log in to Schoology. Your home landing page will be your course dashboard, while your courses and classes will be shown here as thumbnails. What I would like you to do is go ahead and go to the top navigation bar and click on Resources. We're going to connect your Google Drive into Schoology so that you'll have access to all the files there. You'll get some helpful hints and tips Go ahead and click on OK, got it, or exit out. On the left hand side, you have a few options. Please select Apps and click on it. Notice that Google Drive Resource app and YouTube are already installed. However, you do need to give permission and approve of the Google Drive connection. Click on Approve. Next, it'll ask you to sign into your account. Click Connect. Select your TUSD student account. And click on Allow to give Schoology access to your Google account. Just to your drive so that you can see, edit, create, and delete Google Drive files. Now that it's connected, do not be alarmed if things are not organized how you typically have your drive. Let's get back to your home landing page by clicking on the TUSD logo on the upper left corner of the top navigation bar. We're ready to take a look at our course. Click on the thumbnail for the class or course that you would like to access. This is the landing page for your course. Again, you'll get some helpful tips. Click on OK, got it. Your teacher may have set your landing page to be either materials or updates. On the left side, you have some options. And again, you can toggle back and forth between materials and updates. On the materials page, you'll notice that we have some folders that our teacher has posted for us. And on the right hand side, here's that handy dandy to do list of upcoming assignments. Again, not all assignments have due dates. And so be careful and check each folder and listen to any updates or look at any updates that your teacher may have posted. Clicking on the title within your upcoming will take you directly to that assignment. To go back to the course's main page, click on the breadcrumb at the top of the screen. Again, we're back on the main page. To drop down and open each folder for quick access, you can click on the arrow right next to the folder. We'll be looking at a couple of ELA assignments. Let's go ahead and click into that folder. Due dates are listed for each assignment if due dates have been assigned by your teacher. Here's Hatchet assignment without a copy of any teacher created Google Slides. That means here's the assignment and that's basically it. Your teacher hasn't attached anything or made a copy for you uh, to complete. If you need additional help, you can click on that URL link at the bottom. It'll take you to the Schoology help page for submitting assignments. On the right side, please click on Submit Assignment. There are three tabs, Upload, Create, and Resources. On the Upload tab, you may upload a file, you may record an audio or video recording. On the Create tab, notice that there's a rich text editor at the top. Hovering over each icon will give you the name of what that item is. Insert content. You can actually insert additional media, links, equations, YouTube videos, or a file from your Google Drive. You can select Submit, Save Draft, or Cancel. Now let's look at the Resources app. We just connected our resources. Say for this assignment, you have typed up a file, either a doc, a slide, or a drawing that you wanted to submit. Go ahead and click on Resources, and then Apps. Then it opens up your Google Drive for you. From here, you can scroll to see all the different files that you have, 
You can also search Google Drive by typing in exact name of a title, Once you've found the file that you'd like to connect or attach, go ahead and click on that checkbox next to the file. And in the top, click on Import with a drop down menu and select Import File. Notice on the right side now it says Assignment Submitted and then it's been submitted on time. If you wanted to resubmit an assignment, say you made a mistake, you can go ahead and do that as well. Repeat the process. Your teacher will be able to see every resubmission or revision, and the newest revision will show first for your teacher. Go back to the main page. Let's look at an assignment that requires you to use a copy of a teacher-created Google file. Now notice that this assignment looks different. You have your assignment tab, and it gives you a description, the due date, and additional information about the assignment. When you're ready to work on your assignment, click on My Document. It'll prompt you to connect to your drive Click Connect. And select your TUSD student account. And again, click on Allow. You just want to make sure that they have the right permissions to access your drive. Now notice it says Student Account. That's actually the name of my email right now. So you should see your first and last name and the title of your teacher's Google file. Now remember, your teacher assigned this as a copy for you. So anything you type on here will only be reflected on your copy. So go ahead and follow the directions to complete the assignment. Feel free to change fonts, font sizing, layouts. And when you're ready, on the upper right of the screen, you can always click on Submit Assignment. 